Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for the Project Spearhead, is what we're calling it. Yes, we are back with the Seraphon. Here we are, and we have a Saurus Old Blood on Carnosaur, as this is the only thing I need left to do, Spearhead Seraphon. So, I've been looking forward to this one. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to jump in and start painting it. And it's been primed in Wraithbone, and the colour we're going to be using first is... Flesh Terror's Red. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying Flesh Terror's Red over the top of all of the scales. So we're just going to start down here at the tail and start working our way along the entirety of the miniature. Now, what you'll notice on the box art is that it's quite patchy in some places because the scales aren't kind of as uniform as you kind of sometimes usually expect. But what, so what we're going to do with that is wherever you see a recess in the kind of softer underbelly, we're going to run the flesh terrors red into that as well. I'm going to explain what I mean. So just down here, you can see little lines like that sort of thing you also want to apply the Flesh Terror's Red over. So with all of that Flesh Terror's Red all applied all the way around, as you can see, like so, we're actually not quite done with Flesh Terror's Red, because what we are going to do is we're going to add a little bit of extra marking here. So we're going to still use Flesh Terror's Red, and then what we're going to do is, in kind of areas where the sort of red scales end we want to add little triangles so there's a great example of it on the ends of each of the toes like that sort of thing we're going to do similarly around areas like the bicep like that going to do another one Going across here. Like that. We 
and continue down. couple here on the neck as well. And it can be a little bit bewildering because of all of the red that we've already done. But the trick here is to Kind of disassociate a little bit. And so with all that flesh tear is red applied for the second time, I guess, what we're then going to do is take some seraphim sepia. I'm going to apply this over the top of the underside. Of the carnosaur. With all that seraphim sepia applied, we're then going to take black legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the large central line of spikes. like that sort of thing but what we're also going to do here is much like we did 
onto the soft underbelly is we're also going to apply some markings and they're exactly the same the stripey triangles so I'm just going to get all of this bit done Just like that sort of thing. However, as mentioned, I'm going to apply those little markings coming down. Just like that sort of thing. And we're going to do this all the way along. However, the other area we're going to also apply the Black Legion over is all the talons. So with all of that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take Drooky Violet. And we're going to use this to shade both the black and the red. So with that Drooky Violet applied over the top of all of the red, it's looking pretty good. However, what we now need to do is we need to brighten it back up. We're going to do this by adding some dry brushes. Now the first of these is going to be some Wraith Bone. And we're going to use this to dry brush very gently over the top of the underside of the model. And what this is going to do is going to, well, firstly, brighten it back up. Two, it's going to highlight all of the areas that we need it to highlight. And three, it's going to help us cover over any slightly heavier areas where we might have made some mistakes with the Flash Terrors Red. However, you just want to take your time here and gently build it up and try and be as precise as you can to just stick to these areas and when it gets to areas like the you know, the red markings that we've done we just want to try our best to avoid those however if you do get some wraith bone over them that's okay because you can just go in and correct it with some flesh terrors red so with that wraith bone dry brush all applied what we're then going to do is take some pallid witch flesh and we're going to very gently now go over the side over the top
So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Waz Dacker Red. I'm going to use this to dry brush all the red. With that Wazdaka Red dry brush applied, we're then going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm going to do a really dry, gentle one of these over the top of the sharpest points of all the red. With that Cadian Flesh Tone dry brush applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Administratum Grey and we're going to really carefully here dry brush this over the top of the black scales. So with that done, we can now move on with blocking in the rest of the base colors. So next one is going to be some Saigor Brown. We're going to be applying this over top of any ropes. With all that Saigor Brown applied, we're then going to take some Shaiish Purple and we're going to apply this to the inside of the mouth and over the top of the teeth as well. So with that then done, we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this over top of all of the remaining details on the Carnosaur. So with that all done, we're now going to shade all of the gold and we're going to be using some Gilliman flesh for this. So with that all done, we're now going to move on to the throne and the rider. So, the colour we're going to be using first here is Frost Heart. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the old blood. Starting just here on the underside for the tail. So 
slightly older model than the newer ones, so it's actually a little bit easier to paint, believe it or not. With all of that frost heart applied, we're then going to take Leviathan Blue. And we're going to apply this over top of all of the scales on our old blood. And with that all done, we're then going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm going to use this to shade the skin. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to paint in the throne. It might take two thin coats here. If it does, that's okay. So with that all done, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the claws, the ropes, and the two little, well, four. Bits of Well, I guess they're kind of like clasps. With that all done, we're then going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply this over the skulls and over the large horns either side of the throne. And with that skeleton horde all applied, I'm then going to take some Griff Charger Grey. I'm going to apply this over the top of the head. And with that then done, I'm going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this inside the mouth and over the teeth.
And so with that then done, we are going to once again take some thinned down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our remaining details. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is take some Gilliman flesh. I'm going to use this to shade all that gold. With all that Gilliman flesh applied, we're then going to take some Berserker Bloodshade. We're going to use this to shade some of the triangles on the chair. So, what we're going to do is on these side bits, we're going to use this over the top of the bottom set. of triangles. Like that. Whereas on the ones on the bottom, we're gonna use the Berserker Bloodshade over the top of the top set. With that Berserker Bloodshade applied, we then take Drakenhof Nightshade and we use this to shade the other triangles. And so with that done, we're then going to take some null oil and we're going to apply this over the top of the rest of the stone. Just to bring that dawnstone color down a little bit. And with that null oil applied, we're then going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're going to use this to shade the large horns, but we're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to do a little bit of blending here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start towards the base. We're going to apply the Reichland Flesh Shade up to around about there. Wash the brush. Touch off the water. And then we're going to soften the transition like that be really subtle but very effective So with that all done, our Carnosaur is now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready all over. It's a little bit beyond that because of all the dry brushing and stuff, but this is the stage we're at. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it to the next level and we're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down flash kits yellow and we're going to apply this over the top of. Carnosaur's eyes. With that flash kit's yellow applied, we're then going to take a small amount 
of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this as the pupil. There's a little line going down the middle. With those eyes now done, we're going to take some thinned down Karak stone. I'm going to use this to basically highlight the teeth, doing lots and lots of little lines down them. But what we're also going to do with the Karak stone is we're going to use this to also highlight. the brown ropes. So with that all done, we're then going to take some thinned down screaming skull. We use this to pick out the teeth of the old blood. So with that then done, we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. We're going to apply this over the top of the Old Blood's eyes. With that then done, we want to take some thinned down Fulgrim Pink. We use this to highlight the tongue. Similarly to the old blood, we're going to take some thinned down slanesh grey and use this to highlight the carnosaur's tongue. With that all done, our next colour is going to be some thinned down Lothurn Blue. And we're going to use this to highlight the skin and scales of the Saurus Old Blood. With all that lother and blue applied, we're then going to take some thinned down blue horror. I'm going to use this to add spot highlights to the scales and the flesh. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is take some thinned down Administratum Grey. 
and we're going to use this to highlight the throne. that sort of thing but what we're also going to do we're going to use this to highlight any remaining black details as well And so with that all done, we're now going to take some thinned down Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the gold. And so with that all done, our Carnosaur is now finished. The last piece in the puddle for Seraphon Spearhead. And I really, really enjoyed this. I mean, building it was a bit of a nightmare because it is that much of an older kit by now. But to have a big Seraphon dinosaur monster thing now, it does feel pretty cool. And, well, I won't make any promises that more are on the way soon, but I definitely want to do a lot more. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.